Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. And this time I'm going to show you how to upgrade the QuickBooks to the 2023 edition. It's very simple. If you download the software, once you've got it downloaded from the link that they sent you in an email, run it, follow the prompts, accept the agreement. You'll have to put in your product information and then you have the option of choosing express to do the last settings you had or if you go into custom you'll see that it's got the current settings uh, showing which one you had selected if it's wrong you can choose it from here in the custom mode make sure you choose the right one if you're on a server or not or if you're sharing your database then you would just hit next you can choose whether or not you want to have the service and support shortcuts i typically don't want that and then go ahead and install. I've got this running at 2000 times the speed because it took that long to go through the installation process. Once it's done, you can close it and you'll have to reboot the computer. Once it's rebooted, then you can launch the program and then you'll be prompted to activate the software. So when you go to begin activation, you're going to want to sign in with your web-based username and password, which is not to be confused with the username and password you use to sign into the local desktop software with. Then you'll be prompted to print your registration card if you want to, and then open the database. Now at this point, when you sign into the database, it's going to want to do a quick backup before doing the upgrade. So you can choose to store it somewhere on your computer and it will take a little backup for you. Make sure that if it's not going to a USB stick or a network location, you gotta tell it to go ahead and use this current location anyway. Even though it's not recommended, then you can back it up to a USB later. Once it's backed up, then the program is ready to be upgraded or at least the database is ready to be upgraded so it will match the program version. I've got this sped up as well so that it can uh, end faster for you because it took that long, but it depends on the size of your database. Now, once it opens the program, if you have a problem like I do, it's cutting off the top, you can see. So I had to just go like this to resize it, and then boom, the top shows, and now we're able to access the menu. And that's basically it for upgrading QuickBooks to the latest version of 2023. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, even better, give it a super thanks, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. That should be good.